Hello YouTube and thank you for tuning in as always to Auto Transport for Dummies. So in this clip we're actually just going to be talking about the probably most common question that we ever answer and that is can I put items in my vehicle? Well first off doing some grilling doesn't that look good? Exactly. So the quick answer to this question is yes, you can put items in your vehicle. However, you need to follow a few guidelines. The first rule of thumb when it comes to putting items in your vehicle is the industry unwritten rule is nothing over 100 pounds. So you can get away with up to 100 pounds with typically out really much of a fuss from the transporters or the carriers that come to pick up the vehicle. Um, the second rule of thumb is you do not want anything to be present in the passenger or driver front seating areas and nothing encroaching above that window line of the car. I'm sure most of you are also going to want to know that nothing in that you put in the vehicle is going to be covered by any cargo uh, carrier cargo uh, insurance policy. So if you do put items in the vehicle, you're doing so at your own risk. There is no recourse if those items go missing or damaged or anything like that. So obviously you don't want to put any kind of valuables in the vehicle. Um, we've really never had many issues with like carriers messing with items uh, ever. I mean, but again, it's one of those things like we have no recourse. There's no recourse to the carrier. So, you know, you're doing so at your own risk, but we've really never seen much of an issue with anybody doing it because it goes on so frequently. Uh, maybe one time out of a thousand we've seen it. Carriers are there to haul the car. They don't care about your items other than how much it weighs and if it's gonna cause problems with troopers on the highway who see those items in the vehicle. And the issues that come about with this, uh, putting items in the car are pretty much never ending because you know we tell people these rules of thumb and then they end up putting 50 inch TVs in the back of the car, mattresses in the car or the truck. Uh, they just load them all the way to the hill and they think just $100 is gonna cover it. But really, it's, it's just un, uncharted territory once you start heavily loading the car. Because the carrier, is it's really up to the carrier at that point if they want to haul them, how much extra they want to haul them. And in many cases, we have to get photos of those additional items if you want to heavily load it. And then we have to clear the, the excessive amount of items with the eventual carrier that comes to haul that vehicle. And in most cases, I don't think we've really seen anything over $300 for the amount of items people have tried to put in the vehicle. 100 to 150 is about typical if you kind of go beyond what our guidelines are. Some carriers just don't want to haul the vehicle at all if you put extra items in the car. It is technically against FMCSA regulations on moving vehicles versus moving household goods. That's why it's kind of a gray area. There's not really a set price anybody can charge because technically you're not even supposed to be doing it and i want everybody to meet meow meow look at little meow meow <laughs> <laughs> oh my god we have the most adorable kitty ever anyway that is the scoop on items in the vehicle okay so nothing typically over 100 pounds nothing above the window line of the car nothing in the front or passenger seating areas and if you go beyond just a few items or you go beyond that perceived 100 pounds and keyword perceived because at the end of the day, these transporters are not taking your items out and weighing them. So it's really just like a visibility judgment call when they show up and they look. If it just looks packed full to the brim, they're going to want another $100 or so. So again, it's very much a gray area if you don't want to mess with it. The best way to do it is just a few items, a couple boxes in the back. Um, you know, if you have a trunk, we highly recommend keeping the items to the trunk. Um, but the, it's really one of these things where we just have to tell people, use a little bit of reason, use a little bit of common sense. I mean, if it looks excessive, it probably is going to look excessive to the trucking company and they're going to want an additional hundred dollars or so to move it. I mean, that's just the reality. We try to eliminate surprises. But you guys just have to understand, it really is a gray area in the industry. Anyway, so that should about do it for this video. Just in summary, okay, rule of thumb, nothing over 100 pounds, nothing encroaching the window line of the car, nothing in the front passenger driver seating areas. Keep the items to the trunk, if possible. 
if it looks excessive, it probably is excessive. It's going to take another hundred or so dollars. And in, if, you, if you have any doubts, shoot us in the photos. Let the carrier know before they arrive. That way there's no surprises. Anyway, that's how that works. Anyway, that should do it for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching as always. You can check us out if you'd like us to handle your auto shipment. Check out airride.com. There should be a link in the uh, bio, link in the details below. Um, text us, 913-215-3113. And also email us at mx1transport at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one.